everybody, it's Mario Hernandez from Media Current. In this week's Learning Beats tutorial, I'll talk about how to use Twig Macros to embed SVG images in your Drupal website. If we look at the Twig documentation and go into the Macros section, we can uh, learn more about what Twig Macros are and how you can use them, how they work. Basically, Twig Macros are more like functions that you will type in PHP or maybe JavaScript where they execute an action, right? So you write a... a uh, a snippet of code and that code will do something for you. So rather than keep writing that code over and over, Twig Macros allow you to be evoked and then run that code that you wrote. And here's an example on how you can create a quick macro for an input field where you have a few parameters that you can pass to the macro and then you will print the field passing some of those parameters. You can assign default values to some of those parameters. The parameters for Twig Macros are optional. So we'll talk about how we have uh, created a Twig Macro here at Media Current that allows us to embed SVG images in our Drupal websites. If we look at Pattern Lab, here is what typically uh, looks like for us. We have a what we call a pattern called icons. And this is basically just to showcase all the different icons that are available to us to use in our uh, website in our project and then these icons can be used uh, throughout the website using the Twig Macro. If we go to for example a an icon link uh, this will show uh, the icons uh, individually and uh, through the use of modifier classes we've altered the color uh, and other things about the icons. Uh, another example would be if we look at icons bar where we can actually display different icons in different ways and all of this again is done using a twig macro so let's take a look at how that macro looks okay i'm here in my project and i have the icons pattern or component and what i've done here is i created a twig template uh, and this is where i've defined my macro I assign the name of icon to my macro, and I'm allowing for one parameter to be passed, which is name. And this parameter can be called anything you want. It could be anything, any name, right? This is just a some kind of variable that we expect to have available uh, so that we can pass it to our macro. And then within the macro, what we are doing is we are simply doing a tweak include to include a file in this case, an SVG file that is coming from inside the icons assets directory. And here I have all the SVG files that you saw earlier on my style guide. And so the key here is to ensure that each file name has the right name uh, so that when we pass this name variable, uh, what we're doing here is we're passing the file name and then we are uh, concatenating the extension that SVG. So in, in reality, we're including the SVG image, right? And so this name variable or parameter that we have here will allow us to change that name uh, every time you want to use the macro uh, to whatever icon name we want to use. And as far as the um, name, that can either be a string. We can literally just type the name of the icon or if we are using JSON or YAML then that can be actually a key from from JSON or YAML that uh, where the name will come from and here we have the JSON that I was just talking about where we have a key for the name and so this is where we specify a string for each of the names that we have inside our assets then we have a tweak template where we are going to be uh, embedding the icons, right? All the icons that we just saw in the style guide. The first thing in order to be able to use the macro is to import it into the template where we want to use it. So here we are importing our macro and we are assigning a namespace or a variable of icons. So every time we want to use it, we're going to uh, use this namespace to use the macro. And so here is where we want to use it first we're looping through this array of items from our json in this case here and 
um, here is where we want to embed uh, the icon, right, for every item that exists in that array. So we're calling the icons variable or namespace, this one here. And then we are passing the name of the macro, right? And, and here is where we are passing the key from the JSON file, uh, this here. So it'll be item, that icon name, and this uh, for each item, this name will be passed to the macro. Uh, like I said before, we can also do a string of text. If we are doing this somewhere else, we can literally just pass the name of the icon. Uh, let's say we want to print a calendar icon, or we want to print a person icon. Then we are just passing that as a string of text. This class here that we can assign to the SVG is optional. Um, we don't need to worry about that. So here are the icons. Um, and if we inspect one of these, we can see that pretty much all we're doing is just embedding each of the SVG images that we have inside our assets directory for each of the items in our uh, array. And so this is a great way to very effortless, you know, the macro is doing all the heavy lifting for us, so very effortless be able to embed icons in our application. Let's take a look at another icon here. If we look at the icon bar, for example, here we have another way of how we're displaying those icons and very neat uh, way to change all attributes on this icon, uh, size, color, um, position, and everything else. So for example, if I look at this here, I see that there is a fill property for this icon. I can actually change this to any color yellow, red, right? And I can change the, the size of it. And so again, very effortless way to include your icons in your components or your pages. And the macro is doing all the work for you. So I hope this was helpful.